I am Lamont at large and I am at the Palm Mortuary and Cemetery here in Las Vegas, Nevada, Northwest. I made up a little prayer for when I leave and just wanted to ask if you could pray for me if you have any spare time. God, you are so kind when I act bad. You seem like you do not mind. You watch over me. When I fall and immediately you come to pick me up, I am glad you are always at the side of me. It makes me want to yell out with lots of glee. Praise the Lord for he loves me. This is Christopher Ross Connor. He was 21 years old when he died. Doesn't say online how he died. Uh, just says he died unexpectedly in San Diego. Uh, he had lived with his best friend and his mentor, Barry David Meyer, who he preceded in death, who is buried right alongside of him. Beloved daughter, wife, mother, Tiffany Noel Merritt, October 22nd, 1984 to September 16th, 2006. The dash, it's all about how you live your dash. Matthew Paul Miller, April 6th, 1986 to September 25th, 2006 beloved son, brother, and uncle. Mr. Miller died while serving a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in Spain. Doesn't say how he died. Joshua Daniel Phillips, January 27th, 1996 to April 16th, 2015. Pain is temporary. Victory lasts forever. So Mr. Phillips had joined the U.S. Army and he tragically died during a paratrooping mass exercise at Fort Bragg in Louisiana. This is Angel Velasquez, September 30th, 1994 to August 1st, 2013. His courage, his smile, his grace gladdened the hearts of those who have had the privilege of loving him forever in our hearts, always in our dreams. Mr. Velasquez was a Metro Explorer Scout. He volunteered through the Metro program, possibly wanting to be an officer with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. He was uh, hit and killed on his motorcycle. This is Jacqueline Velasquez. This is the sister of Angel Velasquez. If our love could have saved her, she would have never left us. She was a member of the armed forces and she died of cancer at the age of 22. Dean K. Tajima, February 28, 1975 to May 24, 2013. There are no goodbyes. Wherever you are, you will always be in our hearts. We miss you and love you always. Mr. Tajima, he died of mesothelioma. Here lies Javier Medrano, August 5, 1989 to July 4, 2011. So, I ran into this man's brother here. I normally don't approach people when they're at graves of, you know, people. But I had previously looked his story up, so I talked to his brother for, I want to say, a good 
20 minutes, could have even been half an hour. And uh, Mr. Medrano here, he was stabbed in a fight on the strip and he had died at the hospital. And, you know, his brother was just telling me how, you know, as uh, Javier left the house, he had said, hey, brother, you want to go with me to the strip and what have you? And he said, nah, man, go have fun. I'm going to stay home, you know, because the 4th of July, they were going to have a big barbecue. So he wanted to wake up early to prepare for that. And he was telling me how often he beats himself up about, you know, wow, what if I could have just stopped him or, you know, I could have went with him. And, you know, I, I know kind of how he feels about situations like that. We can't really change what happens in life, unfortunately, when we don't have psychic powers. Uh, and I did not catch his brother's name. So if you're watching this, man, I want to say uh, hello and it was good talking to you. And... Um, you know, he was just telling me about the guy who did it, and uh, I, I, want, I might want to say he might be out already, so he didn't do that much time in prison for taking this man's life. Tessa Rose Bascaeno, beloved daughter, sister, aunt, granddaughter, and friend, March 10th, 1985 to March 9th, 2003 doesn't say how she passed. She died one day before her 18th birthday. Here lies Christopher Ruben Castillo with his dad, Ruben Lara Castillo. Christopher was 21 years old when he died. Doesn't say online how he died. He was a graduate of Palos Verdes High School out here and he moved to Alaska to live out his dream. He joined the Coast Guard. He won a re an award, Coast Guard of the Quarter, and he was also nominated for Coast Guard of the Year. He is buried, like I said, with his father. It also doesn't say how he passed. They were both preceded in death by their mother slash wife. Alyssa Mariah Sayago, a light in this dark world, she was a daughter, sister, niece, aunt, cousin, friend, cheerleader, scholar, college student, kickboxer, science spinner, foodie, athlete. You will always be my little monster. Love, mommy. Miss Sayago was shot and killed. It was an attempted robbery. The details online, to me, don't sound like that was the case, so I'm not going to repeat the story. If you want to look up her story, please just Google her name. It'll come right up. It just sounds kind of odd to me, so I don't want to repeat what it says online because I just don't know if it's true. I can't just confirm it, so I don't know. But it was, it was a meeting with some other person. Things didn't go according to plan, and they robbed and killed her two punks ended this woman's life over nothing just 19 years old beloved daughter, sister and granddaughter Kimberly Ann White forever in our hearts and in God's hands Lucas Albach, loving son, brother, grandson, nephew, cousin, and friend. Kimberly, I miss listening to you talk and tell me about everything that has happened to you that day. If you could, you would be telling me all about Jesus, heaven, and the angels. Knowing that you are in a wonderful place helps ease the pain, but I miss spending time with you. We will meet again. Love, Mom. Annette Melendez, February 1st, 1970 to December 29th, 2008. She touched everyone with special love and kindness. Beloved wife and mother forever in our hearts. Miss Melendez here, she died of cancer at the age of 38. Nestor J. Lee, beloved son and brother, our love goes with you and our souls wait to join you. 
Mr. Lee was shot and killed at a party after getting into a fight with somebody. Whatever happened to the days where maybe if you didn't like somebody, you either just turn around and walk away, or the worst case scenario, you guys just kind of have a fist fight, and afterwards uh, somebody gets the best of the other person, and then uh, you turn around, walk away, go home, lick your wounds, and you live to see another day. We live in this very vicious world now where you can't get into a fight with anybody. You can't you can't uh, defend yourself because in fear of somebody having a gun. And I, it happens to me all the time. And when I was Mr. Lee's age, yeah, I wanted to fight. If you're messing with me, I'm going to mess with you. But now, getting older, you you, you got to pick and choose your battles. And it's just never a wise thing. You just never, never know. And... The world is getting eviler by the day. In loving memory, mom, dad, sisters, and family. But Jesus said, Suffer little children and forbid them not to come to me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Giovanni Martinez died in a car accident. This is Officer Trevor Allen Nettleton with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, badge number 9633. The Lord said to send one, so I said, send me. He was only 30 years old. He was in his garage, just got off of work, and six little Cretans decided that they wanted to mess with this man and try, and I'm going to assume rob him, and he wasn't having that. So a firefight ensued. Unfortunately, his life was taken, but he was able to wound the man that killed him. And he was later caught at a local hospital where he tried to receive treatment and he was sentenced to life in prison. Two of the other guys were sentenced to 10 years to life and then the other guys were sentenced to a couple years in prison. The tag-alongs, I guess. This is Detective Chad William Park. March 7, 1984 to January 7, 2017. So live your life that the fear of death can never enter your heart. So he was a detective for the North Las Vegas Police Department. And he had just left the courthouse in North Las Vegas when he was struck and killed by a driver driving on the wrong side of the street. The driver that hit him, she wasn't drunk. She had a medical episode and you know in a situation like that when you have an elderly grandmother who looks like she could be your grandmother innocent looking enough just it was just a very very tragic episode she was sentenced to 30 days of house arrest and they made her have to go through a jail walkthrough just to see what jail is like you know, in a situation like that, you know, if they were drunk, okay, you know, but um, just a, just a horrible accident, really. Marcos Vicente Arenas, March 20, 1998 to May 16, 2013. You are beautiful just the way you are, and when you smile, the whole world stops and stares for a while, because you are amazing just the way you are. Of course, they're lyrics of a Bruno Mars song. This boy was killed. He was walking down a street outside of his high school and he had an iPad. And two scumbags wanted that iPad and tried to yank it from him and drive away. Marcos here would not let go of the iPad and when they drove away, unfortunately, he was drugged under the car and killed. The two scumbags 
you could look up the story online they were sentenced to life with the possibility of parole after 20 years so these thug human scumbags piles of feces they will eventually get out and I do hope that one day after sitting in prison for years and years and your life passes you by and eventually you are released you come here and look at what you created you look at your handiwork you put this boy in the ground for an iPad you couldn't go out and just get a job and buy your own iPad no you had to take his and you took his life I'm back at home right now I forgot to make an outro for the video I got lost in my thought and I stayed at the cemetery for a little while after I was done with the video just thinking about all those kids right there that I seen today murdered over senseless bullshit it really makes me sick and angry. You get killed over a fight. You get killed over an iPad. You get killed over a bag of weed. Whatever. A fight. Hey, you looked at me up one and a half seconds too long. I'm glad I don't live in this scandalous ass town anymore. It's stuff like that that I've seen today. I don't want to live here. And I will never ever move back here ever again. My life does not exist here in Las Vegas anymore anyways live but not live but still live by the grace of God I was at the Palm Northwest Cemetery in Las Vegas Nevada thank you for watching I appreciate it you have a good night peace out